Greetings. This is Buona from Buona.tv, and I'm going to share a little story with you that I went through this past Saturday. I um I have a particular wireless router, and it's made by Linksys slash Cisco. Now, this particular router is one of the better routers, um, and it has the new wireless end specification. And the model number <coughs> is the Linksys WRT350N. So this particular Linksys model has all the bells and whistles, and uh, costs like 199 bucks, almost 200 bucks at Best Buy obviously now I've had this router probably about six months five six months and I've had nothing but problems with it I tell you nothing but problems and the problems range from just some weird stuff things like uh, things like when I change a couple settings on the router just normal settings normal settings the internet completely goes out if until I do one of two things. Either I have to reset everything in the factory settings <coughs> or I have to change the setting back. One setting is universal plug and play. If I turn that on, it'll work for about ooh, about 10 minutes. And then the internet will go completely out and I have to reset the router. Another setting is quality of service. Uh, QoS on this thing. <coughs> First, let me explain what QoS is. QoS allows you to manage your bandwidth so that you can have quality of service amongst all your clients, meaning that it's going to throttle and allow bandwidth uh, depending on the application priority. So, say you're streaming, like with your stream.tv, that may use a lot of your upstream, which may degrade other people's other people in the network's internet connection while this service will throttle that down if it sees other people doing other things so it may say okay i'm not going to use your full pipe for streaming i'm going to i'm going to throttle you down a little bit so other people on the internet other people on your network can get to the internet it's a pretty nice service because it you know if, if you got somebody on your network doing bit torrent and sucking up all your bandwidth you know you don't want that to affect everybody you know you want everybody to have kind of equal <coughs> equal rights to the uh, to the network so let me get to the point I got fed up <laughs> I literally got fed up because I was resetting my router probably every, every two days and uh, this is a brand new router Linksys refuses to release a brand new firmware for it. the firmware that's on there is from November November or October 2006 now they've released a couple they've released a couple a couple of firmware updates which were quickly pulled down from the site why were they pulled because they would brick people's routers brick this is a real brick no this is not the iPhone type brick this is oh you better chuck it in the lake brick that means that it is it, it rendered it useless so they couldn't recover it Nothing can be done about it. It's a brick. So Links has quickly pulled the, the firmware updates down. That was one of the reasons why I didn't want to update it. So I was like, I'm not going to be a, a test specimen for Linksys slash Cisco. So anyway, I got fed up. And um, I had been reading about DDWRT. That's DD-WRT. For about a year and a half now. I've been following it. Uh, but I never installed it. I've been hearing all kinds of praises, people saying that it's the best thing since sliced bread. DDWRT is a community written firmware which is supported by open source developers who will essentially give you software to make your seemingly terrible router work a hundred million times better and it will give you features that are only found in like $500 to $1,000 routers. Now. Um, DDWRT is completely free and to install it is fairly simple it's just like flashing your firmware with any other uh, firmware update from your company so this past Saturday <laughs> this past Saturday I attempted to do it and I think my Linksys router 
was I think it wanted to get a last laugh on me it wanted to get revenge I was in the middle <clears throat> I was preparing so I was reading about DDWRT what I need to do and all that good stuff and um, <laughs> so I decided well I'm gonna reset my router and uh, just to get everything on a clean slate so nothing weird will happen in the middle of it. So I reset my router, <laughs> and lo and behold, my internet died. After reset, this never happened before. After I reset my router, the internet died. So I couldn't connect to the internet, couldn't get the DBWRT's page to download the firmware file yet, because I hadn't done that yet. And I was stuck, I was dead in the water, <coughs> right before <laughs> this is funny. Right before I was going to upgrade to DDWRT. Make a long story short. Turns out it was that universal plug and play setting. Which had somehow flipped on. I didn't turn it on. Which had somehow flipped on. And killed my internet after a reset. That had never happened. Absolutely never happened. So I figured that out finally. Upgraded the DDWRT. And it works like a champ. And I highly recommend it. QoS works. Universal plug and play works. It has some very nice features. It has bandwidth graphing. It has virtual LANs. It has SSH support. All kinds of bells and whistles. Which I haven't even begun to touch yet. And it turned my Linksys. Piece of garbage. Into a full fledged working router. With more features. Than what it initially had. So I highly recommend. DDWRT for your router. So go to dd-wrt.com and make sure your router is supported. And I highly recommend you give it a shot because I don't think there's any downside to it. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv saying, uh, <laughs> be careful on what routers you buy, and you know, just because you spend a lot of money on a router doesn't mean it's going to work. Doo -doo 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 -doo.